Hi, this is Sean, and this is the second video in the Vertex Painting series that I wanted to do. So in this video, we are going to show a height-based vertex painting where if you do it right and you start painting, it looks like it fills in from the cracks up, which is pretty awesome when it's done right. So you can use this. I've seen this done for water. I've seen it done for moss. I've seen it done for sand. And then you can apply lots of other additional effects and uh, dirt. So uh, how do we do this? Well, let's quickly go over how to do this. I, I'm just going to show my final graph. All right. Basically, the key element is you use this height lerp and you plug in the two textures that you want to lerp between. Then what are the other inputs? You've got still your vertex color. So I just chose one of the vertex colors. I chose red in this case. Then we want the height texture and the contrast. The contrast is just a simple scalar parameter node. And you can fiddle with how that looks. If you, let's just show that quickly. If you make it a lot higher, you're going to get a, a really tight transition. When in this case, that doesn't really work for me because it's sand. So we'll keep that low and it makes it nice and soft. All right. Then the final element that needs to plug in is the height texture. So what I did was I just went into the, the materials that came with the engine. And so this cobblestone right click, you can go to asset actions, export. So I exported it as a Targa. Then I just brought it into a program like Crazy Bump, and I turned the normal map into a displacement map. So it just turns it into a grayscale map. Then I kicked it and brought it back into the engine. And so now that it's back in the engine, I mean, you can modify the contrast of this object pre-processing it. But I mean, that's what this contrast node is also for anyways. Um, I guess the, so pretty much that's it. You do the same thing with the normals. And I also added a separate um, set for roughness values, just so I could more strongly differentiate the materials between the rock, which would more, which is more glossy and the sand, which is much more matte. Um, one also, I guess a final um, point to make that is kind of important when getting your result the way you want it. I really like to choose values that um, are low. Uh, also, if you'll notice the the fall off on the brush, it's it's really it's got it's a really low fall off and a really low strength. So, um, same thing with the R value. That way, it gets a chance to build up slowly, and you get to see the result. So you click slowly. All right, awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.